Well, the state of black America right now is very, very grave. In fact, black America is on its deathbed. And if we don't do what we need to do as quickly as we can, we could be in 10 years almost extinct. Mm. The enemy is working night and day to destroy us as a people. This is the degraded condition that we are in. Our politicians, for the most part, and I'm not, uh, 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 for the most part, have bought into the lie that America works. And they know that America does not work. Our rich and our powerful have been made rich and powerful as buffers for the real rich and powerful that we could look at them in their bling bling and their fine homes and whatnot and believe that America will work for us. And at the same time that this is happening, our women are being taken from us. They are the most educated. They are the most disciplined. They are the most visionary. So they are filling the schools and the rate is 70% black women, 30% black men. And all of the diseases that are afflicting our community, we lead in cancer, lung cancer. We lead in prostate cancer. We lead in ovarian cancer. We lead in AIDS. We lead in all of the destructive things. This is not by accident. This is by design. And this is why the minister is crying out to us. But it's like a voice crying in the wilderness. I don't know how long God has for me among you, but I know America is falling. And, and this singing and dancing and shaking our backsides is only blinding us to the storm clouds yeah. that have gathered over America. This economic system could collapse at any time, and the dollar that we've killed each other for, destroyed each other for, will be worthless and there'll be anarchy in America. This is the time that they have let you go, but mm -hmm. you don't want to go free. And so now they've purpose to destroy you. So the last thing I will say on this, and I'm sorry to be so passionate, mm -hmm. the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I, I'd like you to, when you refer to me, say that he is the national representative of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad sitting in the seat of the leader of the nation of Islam. That describes me better and makes me more, more comfortable, Cliff. But let me say this. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, when the sea takes a body down and gives that body up to the surface for those who love that departed person to go find that body if that if that body is not retrieved in time then the sea destroys that body mm. america has given us up we mm. floated to the surface but there's nobody to claim us mm. so mm. the sea is now destroying mm. black men black women black mm. children mm. and unless we wake up the pastors wake up the politicians wake up the so-called leaders and wake up the masses then our destruction is already in the door. And I close, look, we deserve to be chastised mm. because we've heard all the great preaching, all the great leaders, but we have done nothing of what they have said. So when Farrakhan passes off the scene, you will look at me and say, what a lovely song. But when I'm gone, you will say, wow, a man of God, a prophet, a messenger, somebody that represented the messenger mm. of God mm. was among us, but we didn't pay attention to what he said. Mm. And now we're paying the consequences of the rejection of truth. It ain't on the white man no That's more. Right. It's on us. The white man has dumped you. Now get up 
and let's do something to help ourselves or go down to destruction and it will be exactly what we deserve. Mm. 